It is reset day today. Uh, today is Tuesday, February 25th. Uh, let's see what our vendor boys got for us today. Let's see what we've got here. Sabala. Uh, he's got his uh, normal bounties here, some quests, seasonal uh, emblems here. So, hive bosses and strikes, uh, solar kills and strikes uh, for the weekly bounties, and then challenging enemies, bows, void kills, uh, and defeat champions in the nightfall ordeal uh, for his daily bounties. And then the additional bounties that you can get uh, and keep doing there. Thank you, Lord Salad, or Lord Salad, <laughs> Commander Zavala. Thank you. Uh, let's see what Shaxi Baby's got for us. Shaxi Daddy. Let's see what he's got. More of the same. Uh, more of the same. If you have any of the abandoned quests, if you already did on one character here, uh, miscellaneous, already, you know, emblems and stuff that you should probably already have in your collection. If you want to get the Kill Tracker Ghost, uh, Boom the Crucible. Uh, we've got. Complete crucible matches and defeat opponents with void damage uh, for one of the weeklies. Uh, complete crucible matches and assists for the other one. Defeat opponents, you need 10 of those. Defeat opponents using any energy weapon, you need 5 of those. Uh, super ability kills and wins, you just need to win one. Uh, and then additional bounties as well for him. Let's go talk to, uh, we'll holler at uh, Banshee really quick and see what he's got for us. All right, uh, so he's got the upgrade for the Solstice Armor. Uh, I'm not gonna pick it up just yet. Um, he's got the Make Bows Not War if you haven't done it yet on one of your characters, whatever the case may be. Um, precision kills, you, you know, in the European Dead Zone this time around. Uh, Calibrate weapons against targeted strikes, so just using playlist activities. Bow calibration, scout rifle calibration, rocket launcher calibration, kinetic calibration. So just uh, basically just get kills with those ones. And it grants an enhancement core and two mod components, uh, which are pretty cool. And then additional ones, uh, you can just double up on these pretty much. They're usually the same, um, but they do uh, they do change up sometimes. And then he's got Scout Rifle Dexterity uh, and Major Spec. His upgrade modules for Baryon Bows and Helium Filaments, uh, Enhancement Prisms, and Ascendant Shards. Generate Polarized Fractal, Fractal, excuse me. Um, Empyrean Donation, Donate uh, Sundial Links, Time Lost Friends, Fractal Line Skimmer, and Light Fuse Fractal Line. And then he's got his. Uh, Weapon bounties here for each of the obelisks and whatnot. I haven't been donating as I should be, but I will uh, get on the ball here soon. Defeat Scorn, uh, defeat bosses and strikes, collect materials in the EDZ or Mars, uh, defeat enemies using swords or melee damages, uh, use a bow, defeat Cabal with precision damage. Uh, I don't know if that's using a bow yet, so with a bow get Cabal headshots. Uh, rapidly defeat enemies in groups of two or more using precision final blows, uh, void ability kills, and using kinetic weapons rapidly defeat enemies in groups of three without taking damage. Uh, so that's whole loads of fun. Whole loads of fun. Let's holler at Tess, Let's see what she's got for us. Some pretty cool stuff. That's actually a really cool ship. Um, so on the Bright Dust feature, uh, concentrated matter get matter gem, uh, gleaming boon of the vanguard, gleaming boon of the crucible, the Byzantium Lotus Shader. Uh, one of my personal favorites, to be honest, it looks cool. Um, it's not like super extravagant or anything, but it does look cool. Uh, the Vex Gate Arrival, which is a real nice uh, transmat effect there. Uh, we've got the Prod Ship. Um, Looks great with a variety of different shaders. Um, I'd probably run it with this one just because it looks super sick. Or even uh, the grayscale here. Calisus Lighter looks good on everything. That one looks good. Gambit Jade Stone also looks really good. 
that one looks really good. So good stuff there um, for our seasonal stuff. Um, you know, just random ornaments and finishers and weapon ornaments, finishers, all that good stuff. Archive, we don't have any of these bad boys. Uh, these are just previous season ornaments for weapons and ghost shells and finishers and all that kind of stuff. I like this one a lot. That one's pretty cool. Uh, and then Bright Dust, we're back to uh, this. So for the emote, we've got the cow bell, which is silly. Uh, you can see fire teams getting getting distracted, like Tess just said. Uh, the prod, uh, perennial velocity, which is one of my all-time favorite sparrows. I just like the I don't know. It looks modular, kind of. It looks like you can just like pick it up and hold it with the handle, kind of. Looks good. Uh, the Lord of Wolves, Packmaster's Command, which is a super, super cool ornament. And it reminds me of the Unbent Tree Auto Rifle from uh, Destiny 1, with the, the sword coming off the barrel there. So, or sword or dagger, or knife, whatever, whatever it is. Um, the Wraith, Wrath, tra Wraith? Wrath Trail Robes. Uh, super cool looking uh, chess piece ornament there. I like that a lot. And then red legion projection for your ghost shells. The little void circle around the red legion logo. But uh, yeah, let's look at Hawthorne's inventory. Um, you get your clan engrams. Uh, you got anything? I've got one for Gambit here. Got a helmet and a mod I didn't have. Wishbringer and another helmet. Cool. Uh, we'll see what uh, those rolls and stuff are, but. Anyway, back to it. Uh, uneven the odds when Gambit matches with clanmates. Assist or land final blows with clanmates in the Crucible. That is the uh, tag teaming uh, bounty. Raiding party, complete any raid with clanmates. And collective force, uh, complete the nightfall ordeal with clanmates. Uh, and then with both hands, challenge for... Uh, Last Wish, or no, this is for uh, Crown of Sorrow, um, Witch Witch for Last Wish, there we go, to each their own, that is for um, the uh, Scourge of the Past raid. And then you've got your raid banners for Glimmer and Legendary Shards, if you need it. But yeah, that is Hawthorne's inventory. And next up is Benedict9940. Yeah, he's got the Rune Finder. Basically, just gives you more runes when you do activities. Um, he's got some bounties here uh, Imperial Bestiary, Trial by Wits. Uh, we've got the Imperial Salute, and Spoils of War. Um, it shouldn't take too much to get you done with these. The weapon for this week is going to be the Inaugural Address, which is a super nasty pulse rifle with Outlaw Kill Clip. Uh, and he looks like he's got uh, the helmet of the Mask of the Fulminator, um, some uh, Spire Stars and Crown of Sorrow, or not Crown of Sorrow, but uh, uh, it's been so long. The one with the giant Vex guy at the end. Yeah, that one. I'm sure I'll remember the name of that raid. Uh, it's been a while. Let's go check out. Uh, let's go check out the Drifter. He's got all of his normal bounties. Uh, his weeklies earn five points, wins at three, losses at two. Uh, earn points by defeating enemies and defeating guardians in banking mode. So just basically play the game. He's got some daily bounties and then some additional bounties as well. And then his game of prime bounties, which are for the armor sets, uh, so you can get the uh, synthesizer upgrade, which I do need to finish out this one on this character. And then you can get some synths. Uh, he's got the Trust, the Curated Roll, Genesis Explosive Payload, and then the Tracking Cluster Bad Omens, which is still a really good option. And then the uh, Furtive Shell, uh, which is a pretty, pretty nice looking ghost shell. I like it. I like the little leather straps. And then he's got the Team Player Emblem, which is super dope. Uh, I really like it. And then synth recycling. If you have any synths you just need to get rid of, don't need any more, that's where you do it. 
A to 1. She's got her daily bounties and weekly bounties. Uh, for the armory, complete black armory daily bounties over the course of the week. Cool. Uh, forging the future, just gotta do the do a forge and complete it. Hammer and tongs, black armory shield drones, which is just killing nine of them. Uh, Lost forge power kills, get power weapon kills in the forge. Forge super kills, get kills through super and forge. And then the uh, frames for all the weapons. I still don't have the sword, so I'll probably end up doing that uh, today. Uh, Crucible research, or just got the research frames. Um, for the uh, augmented weapons, a couple of them are actually really good. You can get mod components, forge polymers, and obsidian radiance as well. The spider, uh, he always has a very wide variety of things in his inventory. Uh, he's got all his wanted bounties, the weekly wanted bounty, the eye in the dark, which I'm actually going to pick that up uh, and knock that out. Shoreline scavenging, harvest etheric spirals, uh, defend the shore, complete two public events, treasure hunter, find five chests, and lost in the gulch, uh, just explore the trapper's cave near the Bullhorn Gulch. Uh, that is a lost sector. Uh, he's got enhancement cores for 10 legendary shards, and it gradually goes up from there, and then legendary shards for 10 helium filaments, which is kind of insane. Um, I hate when he sells stuff like this for actual mats that you'll need for other things but i digress uh, glimmer would be 20 barium bows and then phase glass is 5000 glimmer purchase alkaline dust alkane sorry sorry alkane dust uh for 5000 glimmer as well uh etheric spiral 5000 glimmer and barium bows for 5,000 glimmer. So he's really giving us the rail with this whole Empyrean Foundation thing being active. Um, nobody knows where to... I mean, I guess you can use Rainmakers and stuff, but for me, that seems just like unnecessary when this guy sells what we need. So uh, hopefully tomorrow or the day after will prove better so I can just keep farming those uh, donations. But yeah, now on to the next one. Next up, we're going to talk to Eris. Eris Bay, what's up, shorty? Uh, she's got some of the abandoned memory quests, if you have them, unless you've done all of them. Uh, her weekly bounties, we have Slow Wave Disruption, Complete Waves of Altars of Sorrow, which is super dope activity. Um, Lunar Spelunker, just do all the Lost Sectors on the Moon. And then her daily bounties... Uh, and some additional bounties, so if you wanted to pick those up, um, grind them out, maybe you can get in and, uh, get some experience there. Uh, these do not offer pinnacle gear, but this one offers a firewall data fragment, and this one offers the Hymn of Desecration, which you use for, uh, the Altars of Sorrow. And then over here at the Lectern of Enchantment, you've got all of your, uh, Nightmare Essences uh, that you could use for that. Uh, I don't haven't done these ones yet. And then Nightmare Hunter defeat nightmares and Nightmare Hunts uh, defeat nightmares across the solar system, and so on and so forth. And now onto the director for Pinnacle Gear. Um, we have the Crown of Sorrow or yeah, Guard of Salvation. I'm sorry, excuse me, Guard of Salvation raid uh, that offers Pinnacle Gear. Uh, super fun. Going with Fire Team, do a guided game. Uh, we have Pit of Heresy for Pinnacle, and then you also have your Master Nightmare Hunts. Uh, there is the Insanity Nightmare Hunt, the Anguish Nightmare Hunt, and the Pride Nightmare Hunt. Um, I can't remember which one exactly those are. Oh, Fanatic for Insanity, Anguish is for Omnigal, and. Uh, Pride is for Skolas, the Kel of Kells. And then, uh, Powerful Gear for a Mysterious Disturbance, which is the replayable mission there. We have Nightfall the Ordeal. This is... I'm not entirely sure which one this is. The Pyramidian, oh god. The Pyramidian this week is the Ordeal. Um, and you can do... Adept at 750, Hero at 920, Legend at 950, and Master at 980. 
which the modifiers are Martyr, Overload Champions, Barrier Champions, uh, Match Game, Togetherness, Champion, uh, Mob Champions, and Genesis Algorithm, which sounds to be a pain in the ass, but that is A-okay. A-okay. And that'll do it for this week's reset. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's all we had as far as uh, things that were reset. So, yeah, uh, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't like it, you can leave a dislike if you want. Uh, leave, go, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification, follow me on Twitch. I follow or I stream over there all the time. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram to stay up to date with things that I do. Uh, and I will catch you guys in the next one.